really appreciate your taking a few minutes and, and coming here to be with me because you've been such a mentor to me and I've learned unbelievable things. But um, I wanted to ask you a few questions because you, we worked together creating the mini facelift, your work, and putting it into a, 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 another kind of focus. Some people have asked me uh, questions about uh, working with the breast and how important that is. And I, I know you do wonderful work with that. Can you talk to me about that a little bit? Yeah, yeah. We have a whole uh, branch. We have a branch about articulation. We have a branch about the viscera. And we have a branch for the breast because I realized that um, there is very few techniques that address, address the breast. Yeah. There's a lot of pathology, yeah. including during pregnancy, um, for aesthetic purpose, uh, during menstruations. We have a lot of problems, but the, you don't want to do raw thing, you don't want to do anything heavy, and you don't want to, and you want to be able to do it technically without having any stimulation for the, if the male practitioner with a woman he has to be very professional. So um, those techniques are very adapted to many situations, and women are really happy about it. And uh, we work on cysts, and we work on pain, and we work on all the problems with, um, we have with the pregnancy and uh, lactation. And that's I wanted to jump right in there because I've been doing a lot of work with pregnant women all through the, the whole nine months and then going to the birthing suite and working with the baby. What's the best way to do lymphatic work in that situation with the pregnant mother and then in the birthing suite with the baby? Well, it's perfect like that. You don't want to maybe jump just at the last minute because by stirring up too much lymph you may bring some toxin to the, into the milk also. So you want to do a little bit uh, at a time, and then um, you can um, work for every complication, mastitis, engorgement, uh, milk stasis, things like that. 